Hey YouTube is update where I'm at. Now I've upgraded the wiring. That's 10 mil electrical cable. It comes in from the solar panels, four on the roof in parallel, in through a switch. Then I can turn off if I need to. It comes down to a self-resetting 30 amp fuse for this uh, cheap $15 charge controller, which is rated 30 amp. From that, I've got a 50 amp resetable fuse into the batteries. I had to upgrade the line to the batteries so there's no point having the, the wire coming from the solar upgraded. So they're running combination 12 volt batteries each, running in combinations of two in series, two in parallel, the 24 volt system. Up to a 1700 watt inverter, which goes through a meter for the house. It's connected in with the house. At the moment the house is drawing 240 watts of power and also one of these meters that gives you your overall reading, current reading, so just keep a track what's going on. But these lead acid batteries is not what I want to use. I've sifted through all these ones here to try and get a good measure on what's going on. So I've got enough so I can make at least one pack of 80 in parallel. I've got 106 good ones. They're anything from 1900 milliamps upwards. I want to use 2 amp, but if I use only 2 amp upwards, I'm going to have less. A lot of these will go in the other category, which is under 1900 milliamp. They will eventually be four pack, 7 packs of 80s. So that's where I'm at. Upgrade of the wire. I've got fuses going. Now, if I'm not doing this correctly, please drop a comment to let me know what I'm doing. But at the moment, it's a work in progress. And I'll keep you updated for the next one.